Alright, hello, hello everybody. This is Mr. MMW. And I'm back to you with another video of War in the Pacific. This is my game against uh, the AI. Uh, things are progressing. <laughs> the AI is being quite uh, funny. Uh, quite aggressive. Both in the aerial war and in the naval war. And frankly in the ground war as well. Here you see this is probably a carrier. That had it attack one of our shitty transports last turn. But... Uh, we're gonna try to intercept it. I'm not. I even split the Kaga from uh, this one from the rest of the Kidobutai in order to catch it because I don't know if I can make it. Hopefully, hopefully, I'm gonna presume that they're gonna retreat to Australia, so I'm gonna charge right in here. Yeah, like, like this. Yeah. I I won't even be able to make it this far, but hopefully. I, I am doubting myself because they could just turn back towards Pearl Harbor and I will be really screwed. But uh, I'm gonna presume that they do the intelligent move and go towards Australia. We'll see. Our landings are progressing. Let's re review the last turn. So, aerially. Quite a success. Uh, 17 versus 49. Very good, very good. 7 zeros, quite a lot of Warhawks. Get a lot of... Excuse me? Wild... Huh? Well, wild cats? How? Where? An ops? Interesting... Ah, yeah, from... Uh, from Wake. Yes, we did capture Wake. Unfortunately, I'm grounding all of these forces who were Going in all different directions, cause, you know, carrier on the loose. But out of uh, those pilots, only six are gone, which is nice. Now last turn, we die did lose quite a few uh, cargo shipping losses, but this was expected, somewhat. Eh, not nice, but what can you do? We compare this to our total losses, of course the Haruna stands on top, but these are the only cargo losses so far, we will see. Meanwhile for the British and the Allies, we see some information about ships sunk at Pearl Harbor. Yet look bang. I don't remember this. Ah yeah, yeah, yeah. The heavy cruisers. Some destroyers, good. If you look at all dates. It's telling us that so far four battleships have sunk, which is nice. What else am I doing? I set up, I got a little impatient, I even turned the turn last uh, last night. So, what are the biggest changes that I did? Well, the Ryujo is going out for a hunt. Let's see if we can catch any or shipping, maybe the Houston. We can see this one going, presumably either here or here. Yeah, same with this one, we'll see. These boys are gonna invade again. The, our forces in uh, Lingayen are moving. They're gonna arrive here next turn. Our forces in Marsing are also moving. Hopefully they reach here next turn, but if not, we cut them off right here. We cleared both of these hexes, but they are still damaged. And, you know, takes time to bring stuff. Also, uh, this one, the air division, isn't here yet. So I, for now, I just put the fighters. They had a day of rest. Now they're back here, and they're gonna do cap. Hopefully. In order to cover for this. Same here, I began transferring stuff, even though... Uh, where is it? Not. Well, whatever, they're on the way. And things are progressing okay over here. This is Delta Warring. God knows what they are doing. Not okay. 
we land here a bit battered up but hopefully it works we did actually arrive a bit late with these guys they should have been here last turn but okay hopefully this won't cause any problems and we have already transferred uh, our G4Ms and have loaded some support the 25th 21st will go to Rabaul the 23rd will go to directly to Kendari here you can see I even transferred all of these weapons thankfully they weren't too damaged yeah so this is what I'm gonna do I want stuff both here and here as fast as possible begin bombing Surabaya what else things in China getting into position clearing this rail pushing here pushing here pushing here just a little clean up and I'm also gonna do a little sneaky I'm gonna come over here and get through here maybe I can instead of making a big encirclement near Xi'an I'm gonna try to make a little encirclement right here or maybe right here in Loyang in order to trap these guys here I don't know if I will manage to but I'll try we'll see if I can manage this I could maybe sneak in here and then yeah we will see it takes a few turn turns anyway I began uh, also setting up the, my convoys you can see everything I, all my cargo ships I sent to Fukuoka and you can see, yeah. You don't need a tremendous amount. 200k in uh, Port Arthur, like 100k in Shanghai, like I think I have two of five, uh, 50,000 going to Keijo. Hokkaido is an absolute nightmare of a convoy, unfortunately. Also, Taihoku. My first, also my first little tanker is also here. Because the uh, the distance between here and here is so small, and the port size is too small to dock everything, and Hokkaido produces so many resources, this actually does get bottlenecked quite a bit. So you want to send a surprisingly large amount of cargo right here. I also notice I don't have a AMC. Also, I'm converting many, many things to AMCs. I'm also sending out my first convoys with support and supply to all the bases that need it. And everything else, because uh, it'll take a couple of weeks to get another convoy formed up with new forces. I'm converting a bunch of transports, enlarging them. Yeah. Like this I have also by the way changed a little bit my uh, torpedo bomber strategy all the units that can use torpedoes will use torpedoes and train naval attack honestly it was foolish to think that you can do other uh, otherwise because there are so many float patrol planes that will be able to do everything the only thing they can do is torpedo attack and for that every single unit that can use torpedoes will train for torpedoes right. a little bit I also want to show I have modified a little bit uh, the here you go oops hold on a second hit the screen there you go and I encourage everybody to do something like this, just in order to keep track of your stuff. Kept the commander's report of everything that happened in the turn. There you go. In the first episode, because you know you, we have uh, two day turns, you can't exactly call turn one, so better to do it per episode. Yeah. So I say we had success on the first turn. In the second episode, that was the last one, yeah? We failed to neutralize Luzon, unfortunately. But I can't hang around anymore to actually neutralize it, so... I'm just gonna bail before I... Hopefully our land forces will do 
that job for us. They only have to take out Clark Field after all. We had success in land combat. And uh, unfortunately a bit of a delay in the reinforcements to the front. But today things are proceeding as usual. And the third day Air Army is beginning to move. Now here in this, this episode I organized the force convoys. You want to keep track of how much stuff you give them. You don't want to just give them uh, anything at uh, however much you will. You want to keep track of it because otherwise you will go b bankrupt if you will. Do not send uh, stuff continuously. Keep track of it. Make an inventory. It's good. The 21st Division is going to Rabaul. The 2nd for Kagayan. We'll see if we need this. If you don't, I'm gonna redirect them towards the Maxa or something. But we're also sending support to Rabaul and to Palau. The 5th Air Army unfortunately got uh, delayed. Because there simply are not enough transports in uh, Takao to ship both these guys and this, but next turn there will be. Yes, and these are the air flotillas, they're going. And the uh, Malay and Lingayan invasions are proceeding as per schedule. Now, as I mark this, as I proceed with this, I'll mark them. With an X, you know, to say a check for an F if for failure, you know. Going so far, obviously, nothing got done yet. And also, you should update this with the current values, you know. I see two when they are in transit, so these guys are going to Kendari, so they're on the move. And when they arrive there, I'm gonna remove this and simply have them there. There you go. Yeah. We will also next turn clear the road to Kaifeng. Very good. So you can see actually. Yes. After neutralizing the zone, quickly relocate these guys. I have done this just now. This will obviously happen next turn. And yeah, this also next turn. The OB. Everything seems to be going fine. Yeah. According to the plan everything over here seems fine and i have also modified a little bit i'm gonna show you in game in game uh, i have modified a little bit my engine engine production and i encourage you to do the same with this simply make a list when i have again when i say one i actually mean uh, one factory of 30 the one Dina factory is 30. Yeah, and they use 30 of these types of engines. So this is what I'm I intend to have for the end of 41. Yeah. So essentially 90 zeros, 90 gates, 60 k let's see. 90 Oscars, 60 gates, 30 nels, and the engine consumption. And you can see the total engine consu consumption over here. This is my plan for 42, same, you can see, I'm gonna transfer one of these jakes to research and I'll have two permanently. Here, these guys are gonna be replaced with the jills. And these guys are simply gonna add to the zeros and here is my plan for 43. No real need to plan past 43 because by that point, you know, the game will either be over or uh, you'll need to make adjustments anyway. And you, this is the outcome of the plan and I intend to follow it. First of all, with the HA35, I've already boosted it to 330. Obviously, it will take some time. But this is the good, this is as much as I need long term. No need to build anymore. The it is constant for the HE34 because I only want to produce one line of Tojos and three lines of Helens. Very good, very consistent. With the HE33 is a bit of a problem because they start off needing a lot. The Vals need them, right? And also the Mavuses need them. Unfortunate. Then they keep retreating. 
but I'm not quite sure what to do with them. This is a bit of a problem. I've already boosted it to 150, but I may boost them to 180 if I start getting short. I don't know. Because unfortunately, in this game, you can't uh, downsize something. You can only boost something. You can only expand the factory. You cannot uh, yeah, downsize it. It's unfortunate, but uh, we, will ha we will have to deal with a shortage. This will also take time to build, you know. We only had like a 100 at the beginning, so it'll take at least a month to build. With the AJ-32 is the exact opposite, they increase and uh, past in 44 perhaps even more. It also depends if you go for the A6M8, those guys also use this. I'm gonna stick with the A6M5 and the A6M5C and then I'll switch to something else. So these guys are gonna, I already boosted them to 240 I think. I'll check it again. Hold on. I can't do math right now. <laughs> no, to 150, I think. Yeah, whatever. The H is 60. Oh, sorry. 120, yeah. I'm blind. Yeah, I boosted it to 120. I'm, and uh, when I get some more supply, because obviously this will take a bit of time. I'm gonna boost them to 240. I only have two factories by the way. That's this is why it takes so long. And 150 HE60. No reason to have more because it's only the Judas use this. And uh, unfortunately the H45 is such a gigantic engine that literally I'm gonna need three nine hundred and thirty. Which is a ridiculous amount, but hey ho. So many good planes use this engine that I can't not have it, you know? I can't not produce so much of it, even though it will cost a lot of supply to pick. Alright. Let's switch back to the game. There we go. And I'm gonna show you. Everything looks good, yeah? Yeah. So here you go, you can see 150 over here. What, 130? No, 90 and 30, so 120, yeah, yeah. These guys are only at 150, yeah. Again, we'll see. We have, what, 100 in the pool. So we have a little bit of a pool. But we'll see. The HA-34 is already set up. It will keep progressing. This one is set up. And we're making good headway into the HA-45. Already have four done. And this guy is already done in producing. Very good. With these guys, I'm gonna go for 60. This guys and 60 of these guys. Bit of a bold move considering the shortage of engines, but we kind of need it. We kind of need it. Same with here, 90 of these guys. Bold move, but we need them. No, I have no re reason, by the way. Some people push the Oscar too hard. I have no reason to, because uh, uh, simply put, the army has a lot of fighters. We're gonna get both the Tojo and the Nick. So, zero reason to keep pushing the Oscar super hard. And here's, by the way, my research. We have almost expanded everything, we're just waiting for a supply. Yeah. Alright. Oh, also, by the way, let's go to the Ops report. There we go. Some devices. Okay. Alright. So, looks good. This is stuff that's uh, reinforcing, yeah. Yeah, not much, not much. Nothing super interesting. Upgrades, stuff, 
lots of planes in transit. Good. Looks good. We have united a bunch of units and uh, I already began sending out some of the Chinese units. They're gonna go to Anyang here and just gonna push and push. We'll see about this. Now, I think it's time to turn the turn. So, let's do that. And there we go. Whoa. Okay. <laughs> Is it me or does stuff look a little weird? Okay, never mind. <laughs> a little visual bug. Unloading here. The Kimura detachment. I'm also doing a little bit of an attack, a risky attack at uh, Rabal. We will see if this pays off. Hello there. This is where. This is near um, Manadu. Yeah. Oh, and just a tiny thing, whatever. Oh yeah, we have also sent out uh, some ships to bombard Kagayan. Just, you know, as an on the way thing. Fortunately, that guy sunk. Unloading. We're also gonna try to take this base oh, at Ilodo. Unfortunately, quite a bit of losses, which is not nice. Oof. And these coastal guns are pretty good. Yeah. Unloading, unloading. Oh, hello there. Now oh, that's a fat boy. And a torpedo in her. Very good, very good. That's a chonker of a ship. Hopefully it goes down. Oh, and hello. We see American subs right in the pathway of our ASW escorts. Very good, very good. It is very good to have an organized ASW effort, wherever you need it. You need it. Is it, here is my sweep over Manila. 5 to 0. Apparently a tanker got sunk. Okay. Here is my Thanks from over here, bombarding this guy, who very rudely keeps striking our uh, tankers. Mm. That nice. Ah yeah, here you can see, this is very, a very dangerous force. Two full cores over here, right next to a base. They can just do a shock attack and take it in a single turn, which is not nice. They are apparently striking me. Okay. Presumably these guys are from Balikpapan. And this guy is from Ambon. Okay. They are unable to hit anything as per usual. What do you expect? Oh, hello. Presumably from Mulvane. Mm hmm. And thank god they are using the wildebeest to attack our ground forces. And not, you know, anything useful. They are eating flak too. Very good. Also they might uh, slow us down. Not nice. I'm very curious about the carrier though. Oh, come on. This guy. <laughs> I'm more impressed. Three, three planes, three bombs. Man. Hope we capture him alive. 
maybe he'll tell, tell all, us our pilots what uh, how to do these things and some fortresses apparently what what a rude guy he damaged them some of our g4ms he's really unloading at kandarida Alright, first day, not that much happening. Besides that fat uh, uh, ship, hopefully sinking. We are landing at Kuchinga too. And over there. Oof. B bit of damage there. And we have a bunch of strategic movement. Very good. Oh yeah, the entire I did move the entire Korean army also together with the Quantum. Hmm. Interest that there was no strike from the Enterprise. Interesting. Because we did have ships in the area, you know. Hmm. Maybe she did go toward Pearl Harbor. In which case, uh, tough luck, I guess. Here we see some clearing action. Push these guys. In the wrong direction, but okay. Good damage over here. Also, get them out of there. Good damage. Here's the attack on Hong Kong. We redu reduce the fortress. Uh, not nice casualties, but okay. We still have the second day. And over here. Very good. Clearing the road. Very good. At quite there. Again, very good outcome. They don't even have morale, apparently. Here's my attack at Lucina. These guys have the job of just keeping them busy. And you can see there's an entire division here. And we hit them out. This is by the way what I mean by rushing things. Even though they have quite good AV, they don't really have the morale to stay in the fight. So you should just rush them very fast. You can do things like this. Do not let them recover. That's the most important thing. Here is that Rabal. Unfortunately, we did not get it. We had fatigue, apparently. And about equal casualties. That nice. We can also capture Tarawa. Very good. Tarnate 2. Very good. Killing every single one of those base forces is very good. Here's also at Brunei. Good. At Vigan. Nothing here. Tantakan. And at Guam. I probably should not have done a shock attack, you know. But hey ho. We do still outnumber them heavily. And here's a full infantry division. This guy can upgrade up to like 200 something AV if you let them sit. This is why you must take them out very quick. 
unfortunately is it seems like they didn't unload properly so a bit of uh, interesting a bit of a botched invasion and they, were, they are bombarding us Hokkaung and at Kuching very good surprising amount of force here the Punjab battalion hmm. do they spawn here Hmm, they must. Right? The second day. Let's go. There's some stuff arriving. Nothing really important arriving, but okay. Ah, that base. Interesting. That base was empty. It's It usually does have something in it, interestingly. So, hmm. Yeah, that one right there. That's why I even sent them there, you know? Oh, there's a sub of mine. And we hit a light cargo ship. Here's a sugar boat. Hitting a destroyer mine super. Hmm. Unfortunate. But better, uh, better a destroyer than a cargo ship. Also over here, apparently. <sighs> It is unfortunate. Uh, here we go. Here's our bombardment at Kagayan. Just to soften up because my invasion is gonna go right. Oh. Loader. Hmm. What I think happened here is that these guys were trying to leave and depart for Australia. But I caught them mid-turn. Mm -hmm. This is very nice, because I am also invading there, and hopefully if I can catch a bunch of B-17s on the ground damaged, you can see. There may, uh, it may be ve a very interesting outcome. I am curious what they have there, in terms of forces though. I hope it's enough. Oof. Jeez. You see, just a single battery can absolutely wreck an invasion convoy. This is why I think that uh, postal guns are literally the most OP unit in this game. And uh, torpedo into a cargo ship. Very good. Oh. Very nice. Steel Ranger. In the middle of the Pacific, and the attack troops on board. Mm, very good. Ah. Well, hello there. I did. I did wonder where the carriers were, but here they are, and it does seem to be the Enterprise. Yeah, looking at the model. This is one of our uh, uh, SNLF invasion convoys. We will see how well they do. Oh. I guess they don't want to fight. Unfortunate. And yeah, it was the Enterprise and three cruisers, apparently. Now I didn't send out the G3Ms because uh, they have uh, have cap, and I, I didn't want them getting destroyed. So I just put them on naval search. But it seems that my carriers are in range, even with thunderstorms on top of them. Very good. One, two, three, four, five, six. One, two, three, four. 
five, six. Might be just in range. We'll see. Oh, they are doing a number of all on our zeros though. We are not doing that great of a job at dealing with them. Uh -huh. They aren't exactly though like those P40s. They seem to be much better pilots, unfortunately. Hopefully they don't get into our bombers. We are diving on them. That's good. Hmm. We keep only damaging them. Probably without uh, with our machine guns. They're not using the 20 millimeter cannons. Yep, sure hope they don't get into our bombers. Oof, a zero destroyed. Not nice. Yeah, let's feed to the, uh, through that. And here you, hello, Enterprise. Ah, unfortunate. It is just outside, outside of normal bombing range. I think that these guys are using 60 kilo bombs. Very unfortunate. But these torpedoes are certainly not something to joke around with. Very good. Come on, put another fish in it. Any day now? Ah. Again, these bombs don't do anything. Other than maybe cause a fire or something. Uh. Wow. We torpedo destroyer. Amazing. Apparently one of our gates landed a bomb. Interesting. Presumably they were out of torpedoes. Right, but we did get two torpedoes into the NT. So presumably she's very slow now. Come on, we can speed this up. Four zeros destroyed for no allied air losses. That's not great. Again, all of these bombs are completely useless. These are 60 kilo bombs. But we did put two torpedoes into her. And we did sink a destroyer. Even a torpedo into her. So not an excellent performance, but a decent performance. It's got it where it counts. Oh, and hello. This is the American Counter-Strike. Of course, they don't seem to have uh, any escorts. So, uh... <laughs> Tough luck, Dauntless says. Oh, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Feed me some kills. Feed me some aces. 
Yeah, that's what I'm talking about. How rude. Oh, and here's the Ryujo. Bombing. Apparently. Not using torpedoes for some reason. Okay. She didn't do much. But okay. Oh, and here's... Yeah. Yeah. You see... Uh, in coordination... Can cause things like this. And of course the Kaga isn't even in the picture. So... I wonder which squad this was. Hello? Oh, a single one manages to get through. <laughs> she gets destroyed, okay. Which one was it? I mean, I'll... Uh, I'll see afterwards, but okay. No, oh, here we go again. No. Oh. But they didn't have any more endurance left. That's very good. And here you go, some torpedoes. Very good. Two of them. Come on. Yeah, that's more like it. Another two. She'll probably go down. She has four torpedoes now. Yes, very good. Very good. We sink the Enterprise and a heavy cruiser. Amazing. 12th of December. Very good. And here's another counter strike. But of course, no hope. Shogaku 3 apparently, it lost cohesion. Mm -hmm. That's very good, taking out an American carrier this early is very good. Right, here's another raid on Manila. Very good. Another T3 aircraft destroyed. They don't even have any more planes. Hello? F2As. Am I dumb or is that... It's a different carrier. Hmm. So the Americans brought both of, of their carriers here. Now that's a bit of a <laughs> interesting maneuver. Uh -huh. I did not expect that. Uh, thankfully it's already the second turn. So, no chance of them getting a strike on us, but they could have. Oh, not again you. Not you again. Oh, fuck off. <laughs> fuck off. Oh, here are my bombers again. This time they actually did something with their torpedoes. I actually did put uh, some new pilots on them, because they had awful pilots. And clearly, it paid off, paid off. Very good. And here we go. <laughs> this is the end of the turn. Some more... Uh, strategic movement. But overall... Pretty good turn, good damage to cargo ships, and of course the Enterprise. 
Hmm. Not a masterfully executed plan, but a decent outcome. The good thing is that uh, none of our convoys were intercepted or otherwise blocked. So everything is proceeding as per normal. And hopefully, next turn we can begin our final push towards the end of December. Another attack at Hong Kong. They hold it off again, but next turn they will not. Yeah. They have no more forts. There you go. This is, by the way, again, demonstration of just how good our uh, troops are. They have even more men than us, but we win. Of course, we do. And here is Clarkfield. We have arrived, arrived in Clarkfield. This is about as soon as you can possibly arrive in Clarkfield. I don't think it is possible to get it un any earlier than this date. Assuming that we are successful tomorrow, of course. But you can see there are a lot of very broken American forces. And hopefully we can use this in order to win through. We ha they have one, two, three uh, uh, relatively decent regiments. But besides this, they don't have much. We will see though. Yeah. So yeah. Again, we'll see. Hopefully, we manage to get it in a single turn. And afterwards, unlike the dumbest that I was before, I'm gonna push right into Bataan. No, no deal at that length. We may have cut off uh, Manila, but this does, does not mean that we need to go to, into Manila. We have to rush Bataan because that's where the Americans are making their final stand. Manila will fall either way. Oh, hello there. Interesting, they intercepted us mid strategic transport. Okay. Oh, hello. Again. <laughs> Let it not be said that the AI is a coward. They certainly are not. Look at this guy. Of course, this is a failure, but... Eh, I appreciate the intent. Here you can see we have brought in some stuff. Very good, and that's it for the turn. Quite an eventful one, but the next one will be even more so because it will decide if we win or not in the Philippines and presumably also in Malaya. You can see we are in Bataan, in Clark, yeah, with 900 AV. And we are in Marsing. Ah. With tank units. Mm. Thankfully, we did cut this Roy rail. But uh, still, one more turn to go. So, just as a sneak peek for next time, obviously, quite a bit of damage. I want what did you lose? Ah, uh, yeah, unfortunately, a pretty good tanker. Mm. Not nice. But the Americans. Mm -mm. A light cruiser. Okay. Alright, this is enough for today. Thank you for watching.
and uh, see you next time.